Hey guys, check out this epoxy project. Do you have an old surface that you want to make look new? Like a countertop, a desktop, a table, a floor, shower panels, and more. Check this video out. We're going to show you all the tips and tricks of how to spread our bronze metallic, how to give it depth and clarity. We're going to take this project from a single color to a showpiece. This is our fractured fault line technique. We're going to show you exactly how to create these fine lines. Visit us at StoneCoatCountertops.com and enjoy the video. We pre-primed our MDF board with bare paint and primer in one in the color Ethiopia. We're sanding with 220 grit and we're going to wipe off the excess dust with our blue shop rags. Next, we're going to mix our stone coat countertop epoxy for two minutes. We're going to mix our clear epoxy and then we're going to come add our metallic bronze. This additive will really bring life to the epoxy. After mixing our bronze metallic, we're going to pour that right down the center of our piece and then we're going to trowel it out with a 1 8 by 1 8 square notch trowel. This is a great technique leaving the perfect amount of epoxy so you don't have too much and you don't have too little to get it to lay out really, really flat. Our next step is to chop out those trowel lines and you get this amazing leathered finish when doing this over bronze metallic. We're going to torch out those bubbles with a propane torch, step back and check it out. Our next technique, we're using a blue shop rag and we're dragging that through that epoxy. That's going to give it another effect. Those metallics really move and grab and refract with the light and this is giving almost a wood grain look. Check out the depth that you can get just simply using that shop rag. After each technique, you can simply sweep the surface with a propane torch to get it to lay out and pop any excess bubbles. We love how our bronze metallic powder reacts to those different effects. Next, we're going to re-chop the surface with a blue shop rag to show that if you don't like one technique, you can come right back and you have plenty of working time to do another technique. Using the colors pearl, gold, copper, and black, we're simply going to mist the surface using that mixture of isopropyl alcohol and our stone coat countertop metallic powder. To get an aged patina look, you can use hunter green spray paint like we are here, or you can use our tropical turquoise metallic powder mixed with alcohol and both give a really unique patina effect. Next, we're going to start the layering process. We're going to use spray paint, so we're going to fog the surface using white, black, and silver. After we've done that, we're going to come back with metallic powders again and mist that surface. We're going to use that same gold, copper, black, and we're going to also use some deep silver. Here, we're using black spray paint and we're fracturing it with a heavy mist spray bottle of that deep silver. Here the fun really begins. We're going to use those same spray paints that we fogged the surface with. We're going to spray them on a paint stick and we're going to start dragging veins. Utilizing multiple simple techniques on the same project really brings complexity and a sense of depth to the piece. Now we're going to load the tip of our paint stick with a little bit of epoxy, spray some metallic silver spray paint, and drizzle that mixture to create fine lines. Also, we're going to use white spray paint on the tip of a paint stick and drag it through the surface to create small fractured white lines. We're going to come back and put periodic lines through the entire surface and also use that paint stick to move the material around. This really creates a sense of bigger veins without so much color, but it gives it texture. Move your paint stick lines with a torch to make them look real. Next, we're going to make fractured fault lines using a glove. Just simply drag a glove through the surface. It grabs those metallics and some of those paints underneath, pulls them together and creates these fine fractured fault lines. By utilizing those three techniques, you really get a lot of depth in the piece. On the second day, we're going to sand the surface with 220 grit after everything has dried. We're using our handy foam backer to prepare this surface. We're also going to sand those edges and degloss everything to create a great mechanical bond. Using blue shop towels, we're wiping the surface as well as the edges of our project to get the dust off to prepare for our final flood coat. We're going to use our same stone coat countertop epoxy in a one to one ratio. We're going to mix it for two minutes using a drill and we're ready to apply our second coat. Prepare your chop brush by de-shedding that chop brush and pre-priming it so you're ready to go. We're going to pour our surface out and then we're going to take our 1 8 by 1 8 square notch trowel and spread everything on the surface and then work it towards those edges just like the first coat, but in this coat we don't add any color, just clear. 
chop that surface again. This is going to remove any trowel lines and ensure that everything is mixed extremely well. Next, we're going to brush our vertical edges out and do this a couple of times, especially to finish up your project so that you get really nice edges. Now to finish the epoxy off and get it crystal clear, you're going to torch it three times to remove those bubbles. Look at how beautiful that lays out. Wait about five minutes between each time that you torch it. Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again. Okay guys, question of the day. Next video, would you like to see a Formica countertop with integrated backsplash done from start to finish showing how to keep that backsplash on and make everything look flawless? Or would you like to see a floor video from start to finish all the tips and tricks? Let us know in the comments below. Wow guys, we have a lot going on with this project and this surface and we love it. But it can be broken down into a few easy steps. In this class, this project that we did, we wanted to portray and show the different techniques that you can use with just one metallic powder. We started with bronze, we added that to our stone coat countertop epoxy, we troweled it, we chopped it, and we torched it. You saw what that looked like on its own, that's a standalone beautiful countertop. Then what we did is we took a blue shop rag and we put those striations in it to give it that almost wood grain look or, or that finish that goes in long vertical strokes. Let's say your customer didn't like it there. Then we chopped it with a rag and voila, you have a whole new look. That's really fun to play with those different techniques and the metallic, the way that it catches the light, the way that it refracts. It's really magical and it's awesome. After that, we simply started to layer. We layered our metallics mixed with alcohol and you get a whole new look. That was so fun. And then we took a little bit of green spray paint, kind of like we do with our copper, and we made that patina look over that bronze. That was really cool. And then after that, we started adding spray paint and striations with the paint stick. And then one of our class members, Sarah from Ohio, she wanted to add some white and she added little bits of white and that really pops against these darker backgrounds. And I really love that technique. Great job, Sarah. After that, Mitch comes in and he shows you how to use that glove. That glove technique, just skipping that glove over a metallic base, that's key. If you go over metallics as your base and you use the light pressure of that latex glove, dragging it across, that's why we get some of these darker lines and, and it grabs all of that paint, brings it into the metallic and you get some very, very realistic effects that would take you countless hours to reproduce if you tried to faux paint this. This is an amazing technique. Thanks for watching the video. We appreciate all the comments. We read those on a daily basis and we get a lot of feedback and choose what we're gonna do for our next videos. So make sure you comment, share, and subscribe. We appreciate all of our subscribers. Give us a call anytime for free project support. We love that. And until next time, from Stone Coat Countertops, you got this. We'll see you soon.